Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Nick. And, and we're, we're Between, Between Two, Two Lenses. lenses. Scripted. This is gonna be our first video. I, I don't know. Is it? Ah. This may be our first video. Hello. Greetings. We are opening a uh, kit that Nick bought. I bought this camera on Amazon. Yeah. 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 So this is the uh, it's, a, it's the Amazon Smile. And, it, and this is a a twin reflex camera that I bought. Maybe I'll throw the link down in the... Uh... We'll throw the link in the description yeah. if anybody wants to try it out. Uh, we haven't opened it, obviously. We've Both. been waiting. We've been waiting for a to week. do it on a video. It's been a week. Uh, I'm now touching the package. <laughs> I'm about to withdraw the package. The package. So, Here we go. Oh, oh, it's just a little just bit a of lackluster there. All right, all right. So that's, that was... Um, so not, we need an to. instrument of... Uh... Destruction sharpness here sounds good so yep this is the made in china reflex kit it says new on it, it says new smells... i think i'm just gonna i'm gonna do it the hard way stay tuned Well, it's safely packaged. Ooh, Very safely there packaged. There it is. Here we go. Ooh, it I is a twins, twin, the, the, twin reflex camera. Twin reflex camera. And that, is this for 35 millimeter? What's this for? I sure hope so, because that's what we have. Uh, assemble in one hour on knife or scissors needed. Material, strong black cardstock. Use 35 millimeter, not included. Preferably ISO 200. Instruction to build oh. camera included. We have ISO 400. We have ISO 400, but we could always, we're going to use that ISO That means 400. that we would just cut the time in half. Here's the box. Let's do a little demonstration. I don't know what this looks like. So. I doubt that images look like that, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah, they, I don't know what they were shooting with. So is this like a pinhole type camera? Or? I have no idea. It's a twin reflex, twin which is, okay. I don't know what that means. Alright, so here we go. So there's the directions. I was looking into something like this a while back, and apparently, yep, all the instructions are in Chinese. So, uh, <laughs> welcome along for this wonderful ride. We may also be, um, refer <laughs> to some uh, YouTube videos. Ni <laughs> All right. How exciting. Um, Here we go.
Opening open the film. Woo! Took our first roll of film. Hi everybody, we are going to just give a quick recap on what we thought about this Holga Rusesky Twin Reflex camera. I shot it a couple times and it's easy enough to use, but uh, it feels very flimsy. I discovered um, on every one of the negatives, we were thinking that maybe we weren't turning it far enough because you're only supposed to turn it to each arrow. When which, I is was, a, which is a 180 degree. 180 turn. degree turn. Uh, but when I was just examining the negatives, um, it's a light leak that's in the same exact spot of each frame. Uh, I was shining a light in through here, and there is a spot. Let me see if I can open this without breaking it. I'll let Nick open so it. The weird thing about opening the top is that you have to peel away, which feels unnatural. But you have to peel those away and then oh, lift. Oh, I see. Yeah. And I tilt it upside down and get the back and the side covers. There we go. Come so. Okay. Behind this little plastic piece, there's a slanted mirror, um, which shows you, you know, what you're going to be taking a picture of. And when I have it open in the back and I was shining a light through all directions, I found that this is where the slanted mirror is in there when we were building it. And at the very bottom where it reaches um, right above the hole where the image is going to be captured, there's a very, very, very tiny light leak. And I think that that is um, what was causing some issues. So maybe we'll try and like, I think we'd have to take it apart to fix it. Um, to maybe put a piece of like um, gaffer's tape or light tape so light can't get through and maybe it'll work a lot better because some of the images they actually don't look too bad they actually um look like they would have been pretty decent so that maybe that would save the camera and so that's my two cents maybe i will go back uh, at some point and try and put a piece of tape in there and seal that light leak see if it works any better that's my only experience with it. I also feel that it's somewhat of a flimsy build. Um, there's a lot of where the creases are between the, the walls here. It feels like there's a lot of space and that affects the light leak. Do you like it? Did you like it? Yeah, it was a fun build. This was a really fun build. Uh, it took us two hours. It was supposed to take an hour. Um, it was a fun build. The shutter is the trickiest part. And you have to screw it in just right so that it releases, but it's not too loose and not too tight. Um, as is, it feels a little off when you bring down the shutter release. Even just the slightest of uh, releasing the tension lets the shutter go back. Okay, maybe not that time. <laughs> <laughs> Most other times. <laughs> It works perfectly now because okay. it's on camera. That's, it's one that's, of those that's, moments. That's, that's nice. Yeah. Um, I think that if we were to do another one of these builds or if you are going to want to try this out, um, I would definitely say on that slanted mirror or anything that's going to be around taking the picture, make sure you just uh, maybe go the extra step and use some gaffer's tape or some like black electrical tape something that's going to stop all light leaks from coming in. I don't know that it might be a bit around the top, like Nick was saying, um, but definitely when I was shining light around, I was seeing light coming in from that one section. So, um, yeah, it's not a bad camera. Uh, it's fun. fun it was build. fun. What would you rate it out of 10? Out of 10? Oh, uh, I guess because of... The directions and the light leak. I mean, it looks like it takes pretty decent pictures. Picture quality is good. I mean, look at some of these are actually pretty, pretty decent. The, so. the shutter speed, um, we found <clears throat> that trying to hold it for a second is too long, even though it's... You gotta um, go quick. You gotta go quick. It's like a one, what was it, a one two fifty? And when you're only do when you're using when you're in control of the shutter yourself, you have to. I guess we should have just been like you know like 
Like we're wild west, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I would give it a six. I'd give it a five. Mm -hmm. Mostly for the fun build. Um, it was a fun build, and I, I say six because it actually, it looks like the sections you can see takes pretty crisp pictures. Um, they're in focus, and it's just that light leak that's through each of the images, so I'd say a six. If we rebuild it, we'll let you know. Or maybe I'll try and just fix the leak. Thanks for watching. Thank you.